Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, I have, just last night I made a mod, uh, something that I found at Goodwill, and I think it is so amazingly cool that I have to show you it. Now, uh, this is the Buzzbee uh, Range Master, or well, it was. As you can see, I've got it out the the bare minimum. Uh, just like the smallest amount that you need to fire the blaster, and that is this. Uh, so the way it works is, normally when, when the bolt is forward it's like this, and this is fixed. So when you pump, pump this back it'll go like this, and push the 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 pumping tube, whatever you call that, into the pump. And that's kind of cool, honestly. But I wanted to brass this. And it, this is a pretty good blaster once you brass it. Uh, except I was noticing uh, that if I didn't hold them, hold them in, they would kind of move forward a little bit when I fired it. And so I thought, that's, that's awful. So I switched to a very a much longer piece of brass, and that was very finicky. So I decided, ah, what the heck, I'll, I'll try the short one again. And so I decided, I'm just gonna see that again, like, just it popping out a little bit when you fire it. But except that time, it didn't do the same thing. Uh, it did something much, much more interesting. So I'm gonna show you just what the heck happened there. It'll take uh, mine, uh, well, four pumps before the overpressure release valve kicks in, but only four pumps if you, like, remove it each time you pump it. Uh, so, I put the brass in, and I just used a 17 30 seconds drill bit to drill it out, and then used my Dremel to sand around the, the inside of that. Uh, and it does something cool. It's shell ejecting. Oh yeah, by the way, I do have a cold, so uh, please pardon that. But uh, when I realized what I had created, I was blown away because it's powerful enough to actually warrant it using shells. And these, these homemade shells are just uh, fitted to roughly the size of an Adventure Force Wobblehead dart because that is the, the best full length dart. You cannot tell me otherwise. Uh, since then I made eight more shells. And uh, some of these I had to use with the, like, I had to make with a hacksaw and, and my metal file because uh, my Dremel died. <laughs> I forgot to charge it. But before that, I made three of, of those shells in like 20 minutes. That's how easy it is. And it's five bucks for uh, for like a 12 inch long uh, brass barrel. 17, 30 seconds, of course. Uh, and the Range Master at Goodwill was $4. So to get the Range Master and the shells, and four shells. It only costs nine dollars. And I, I did, of course, remove the dart post so I could use short darts. Uh, <laughs> it's so cool. And I just have this glove on because I felt I feel like it, and you cannot stop me. Uh, so I have made eight. Well, technically, I've made ten shells, uh, but I put hyper in there, and I just let it like. And because, you know, it's not powerful enough to shoot the hyper out of the brass barrel um, without it going, like, without it shooting the brass barrel along with the hyper round that's lodged into it. And so, that kind of hit one of the cool vent things back there. And then it bounced back, and I have no idea where it is. Trust me, I looked. But now I have a total of nine. Uh, 
and this thing is so fun. So I'm gonna show you this firing, and this is like a, a Nerf accessory, uh, but since it's like elastic, uh, it'll hold stuff, it'll hold things that are bigger than a dart. And these shells actually work in the boom stick, uh, but you have to file down the front edge. However, I do not recommend that you use these in something like the boom stick because it actually uh, breaks the darts. It, ca it makes like tears in the darts, uh, but it is more efficient than using the brass barrel insert, which I, I showed in uh, straight through. Uh, which, thank you so much for all those views on Straight Through, that's crazy. That's the most, uh, that's even, that's almost double, uh, the most viewed video on my, on my normal channel. And I have, like, four times the subscribers on there. That's crazy, thank you so much. Uh. Uh, now all the shells that you make are not going to be perfectly length, uh, uh, not perfectly length, what the heck am I saying? Uh, perfectly uh, cut to length. Cut to, cut to perfect length. There we go. Uh, that was good. You see that? That was crazy. Uh, for something, these shells, oh my gosh. I say uh a lot in these videos, and I don't know why. Because I don't do it in, like, my day-to-day -day life. It's weird. But these, I know, it's probably annoying, and I'll try to stop. But... Like, these shells, I recommend cutting them. Like, taking your one that's, like, a little bit longer than what than the size that you want to cut it to. And, like, then do that. Because you're going to have to file it down. And that's going to remove a little bit of length. Uh, the boomstick can actually... If you're crazy enough to shred your darts like that. The boomstick can actually uh, shoot two shells at once and eject both of them. Yeah, these hold also two short darts each, but like, I'm not kidding when I say that if you value your darts, you should not use these in something like the boomstick, because uh, I ran uh, five shells, because at the time that was all I had, which uh, that was like a few hours ago. Uh, so a few hours ago, I ran the, the boomstick with... Uh, with five shells, and each of them had two short darts in them. And you know how many short darts survived? A to a grand total of three. Three short darts. That is how many darts the boomstick will destroy. Like, you can theoretically still use them, but they're gonna be way worse. You know, because they've got that big gash in the middle. And of course, it's just operated by this button. Uh, and there's something funny about that button, I'll, I'll tell you in a second, after I shoot this one off. So, if you put like three hyperons in here, because you can, and then pump it all the way up, and then if you push the button quickly and make an airtight seal with your thumb around there, uh, if you're lucky, two of the hyperons will come out the front. And then if you let go, it'll shoot the, the third one. And I don't know why that happens. It's like some weird system. Because, like, a lot of the air is coming out of here for some reason. Uh, but I love this so much. Did I mention this was $9 for the blaster itself and four shells? Uh, assuming you have tools, of course. Because, you know, Dremels are expensive. I have a Dremel light, and it was, like, $60. Uh, a Dremel, I think it was 3000 maybe it was 4000 that's like $70, but yeah, I'm very pleased with this, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day!